Hey everybody, welcome to Harry's Buddies at Audubon. We're coming to you from Audubon Nature Institute in New Orleans, Louisiana. That's right. I'm Zach. And I'm Jamie. And we love Harry's big adventure. We love Harry, we love his pals. And so, we're excited to introduce you to even more bugs. Buddies of Harry's that are awesome. Let's check out what we've got today. Jamie and I are happy to see y'all again. Yeah! Uh, or not see you, as the case may be. Um, Jamie, what's up with the blindfold? Well, I wanted to see what it was like to be an insect, crawling around at nighttime where I couldn't see anything. And so, voila, I have this mask on, so I can see what it's like. Well, the good news is that our plan today is to talk about diurnal and nocturnal bugs. The bad news is that if you keep that thing on, I am almost certain you're going to knock over one of our cameras or something. Oh, you know that's not gonna happen. Ow. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's fun to imagine and explore how other animals live and move around, but let's just cover the topic today with a couple of awesome live examples. And we ought to start with definitions. I definitely love pizza. No, I, I want to define diurnal and nocturnal. Well, why didn't you just say so? In biology, diurnal means active during the day and nocturnal means active at night. Right, and most species of insects are either one or the other. For example, you won't find any butterflies flying around in the middle of the night. They are diurnal. But nearly all of the world's roaches only come out of hiding and look for food when it's dark. So they are nocturnal. Zach, how about we show off some real live bugs as a way of demonstrating this? Okay. I've got a paper wasp here. Ooh. These wasps rely heavily on their senses of smell and sight to navigate. As they fly around and search for nest building material or something to eat, they need the sun to be out mainly so they can see. But you'll find all the paper wasps from a given colony resting on their nest at night when they are inactive. Paper wasps get such a bad reputation, but they're still important in gardens and forests and fields. That is so true. But if you have a nest of them attached to your house, you wouldn't want to accidentally get too close and maybe get stung. There are a couple of ways to deal with paper wasps. If you decide that a great pest control company like Terminix is the way to go, boop, 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 give them a call and they can help you out. Got it. Now, on the other hand, there are nocturnal bugs like Cuddles the Scorpion. Yay, Cuddles! I know him from the Harry's Big Adventure website. When you read about him, it says that his biggest dream is vacationing in Alaska during the month that it stays dark all the time. <laughs> well, that is one way of saying that scorpions are nocturnal. They don't wear blindfolds and practice walking around blindly like me, huh? No, Jamie. In the case of scorpions, they have hair-like structures on their bodies okay. that are so sensitive to vibrations on the ground and in the air that they can walk or run without bumping into things. They can find and catch prey, they eat other bugs. And they can determine when danger is nearby and flee. Amazing. One of the most fun things to do if you want to find interesting insects and their relatives, like scorpions, is to learn when different bugs are active. Then you can search for special ones that you really want to find in the daytime or at night. Scorpions glow or fluoresce under ultraviolet light. And you'll know when to do your hunting because you'll have learned which ones are diurnal and nocturnal. The lights. What? The lights. You're supposed to kill the lights. So you know when we say diurnal and nocturnal, then it goes from bright to dark. I wasn't supposed to do that. I didn't uh, know. Oh, we're going to look so unprofessional. No, 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 no. We got this. We'll have it for next time. We'll make a plan. Right. I'll come out dressed like a spaceman, oh, okay. and then you come out as a little green goblin, like and idea. then we'll uh, have some roaches and hula skirts, That's and we'll all jump out of a cake. 